Alright, so there I was in the alley with the clown Bo Britches. I was able to punch him in the gut. He caught up, coughed up some scarving out of his mouth, and then I took that scarving, wrapped it around his neck, and... Uh, uh, Rumpy? Yeah? We're live. Oh. Hi, everyone. You gonna... You gonna finish that story? Nah, we, we got a thing to do. <laughs> Alright. I really hope you can actually hear it this time. Yeah, I can hear it. It's a little wonky, but I can hear it. Uh, one sec. Raise the volume a little. Cause I don't want the I don't want it being too loud, but I. Yeah. Ah, it's just the audio is a little choppy. Ah. Yeah. My, uh, it could be connection problems. Anyway, uh, welcome back, guys. So, What's going on? What's going on? Uh, much like last time, this is about a week after um, part 10. So, uh, just a recap, mostly for Rumpy's sake. Uh, Rumpy, you remember what happened last week? Uh, um, I think we punched something. Yeah, you close enough. Uh, what? What's up? We you know helped Felicia get to. Well, he's opening a new attraction what the there. My drink. He uh, we helped Felicia target. get to. Um... Uh, we helped uh, Black Cat get to Paris using mystical magic mumbo jumbo. It's the cheapest way to travel. Uh, also, yes, there is a reason I I am switching to the to Miles' Mysterio suit. Uh, this is the first part. This is technically the first part of our Mysterio. My it, my slightly long Mysterio part. Technically, part one because the because the first of Mysterio's side quest is a story mission that's set in Coney Island. Oh, uh, also, uh, I'll send a picture, I'll put a picture on the YouTube re-upload, but I want, I'm going to turn my camera on real quick so you can see what cup I'm drinking out of. Hello, I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist, and this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my yeah. technical advisor, and this is the next generation of entertainment. You know, I love with all the reformed villains in Spider-Man no 2 way, that um Quentin Beck basically said, "Fuck it, Excellent. I'm going to make I'm going to make an escape room." A brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. I mean, what else is he going to do? Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? I, I think the man actually on, in at on, least in Insomniac the future um in the Insomniac universe, he does know at least some magic. Like you train, he's slightly trained in the mystic arts. One second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hey, this audio is coming in really choppy on my end. Is it? Is it on your end or? No, I th I think it just it might just be a connection issue, like an internet connection issue. Let me try hanging up and coming back. Maybe that might There's help. A kiosk up ahead. All right. Just keep moving. If you enjoy your experience, please tell your friends and feel free to visit one of the many mysteriums now open around the city. Our free trial ends soon. Thank you, Betsy. I'm sure you will. Now to customize your experience. Nope. Okay. Oh, well, I'll just have to live with it. Yeah. Uh, also, as you look at these, I hope you're ready for one of the I want <laughs> for one of the dumbest dreams. segments I vaguely your remember in this game. Your dream. Ah, yes. I'm getting good data. And we're done. No way! <laughs> I do like... I, I do like worry, the Mysterio-inspired suit that Miles gets for the, for the Mysterio missions. Because it does look nice. Enjoy your dream come true. 
All right, let's get it. Also, I hope you guys are ready for some Guitar Hero. Oh, uh, no. I didn't bring my guitar. Nice. The music that's supposed to be playing. Hang on. All right, I'm in it. There it is. Yes. I forgot my PlayStation was on. <laughs> that's what I like. So, so if you were hearing music in the background, uh, I'm sorry about that. My PlayStation was on, and because of how I record these parts, I use um, I use the same thing that I use to do my streams, which unfortunately means if my PlayStation is on, it'll pick up the PlayStation audio as well. So that's fun. Yeah, we have to die now. Uh, by the way, the song that's playing, I didn't know this when I first played this, but this is apparently supposed to be Miles' theme. Which, that's... That's a cool touch. Now watch me fail. Even though I've done this minigame before. Okay, now I can hear what you're saying. That it, it does it does sound a little choppy, and I think um, that it might have something to do with uh, because last time we were recording parts, uh, one of the parts was kind of laggy. I think that might have something to do with it. Just the the video itself might be a little laggy or something. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's something. I, I, I don't know. I'll I can easily figure out. Your render your rendering game's weak, bro. Do you well, even render? <laughs> well, it doesn't... I can. Um, I think what didn't help was... Um, my laptop was kind of overloaded and full of stuff that I kept forgetting to delete and or move. So it, it was just low on space. So when I was recording, it would... Um, it took a... It was harder to... Record it like it, it's not even rendering, it's just re like a recording issue or something. <laughs> Jeez, I'm doing bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot. Well, I think the problem is because you have the um, you have the bumpers, and then you have you have to flick the um, analog sticks in a certain way. And you never use the triggers except for that, except for those bits where you're, you have to drop the beat, quote unquote. Oh, hey, it's Young, yeah. Oh, no. Keanu Reeves is here and he's going to whoop you. Whoa. How did I do that? Where did I go? I, I really I hope. Right now. Later. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's the, um, it, it, I can tell now it very easily is. It, it's not a connection issue, it's the video lagging that's making the audio choppy. Okay. Um, yeah. We're having a bit of a malfunction. But, okay, but before I forget, though, like, pl please tell me I'm not the only one. I know you probably didn't notice it, Rumpy. Yeah, they're trying to rock me! But, um... I hope you're not hurt. I can hold my own... Okay, Please tell me I'm not the only one minutes. who noticed that uh, Martin Lee yeah, in Spider-Man yeah, 2 looks trying. almost exactly like the YouTuber yeah. Young Yeah. No, I can see it. It it looks like Lee and his demons here. It just kind of throws me off. And and I'm not upset because I actually like Young Yeah. Um but it's like holy shit, that's I can't unsee it. Ah shit! He's gonna voice act for some for Yakuza in front of us. <laughs> that's still something that's fucking bizarre to me. Is um, 
that man is the English voice finished. actor for. Uh, right. Holding your own. Barely. I can't remember the character's name, but the um the the main character moments. for your two so. For for the English stuff like that that in and of itself is just kind of bizarre. Maybe more like a nightmare. Here's the mixer. Get to it. Fast. I think if you finish the song, you might hit a break point in the program. On it. Out of my way, chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you may have to empty your RAM later. It might help with the lag. I uh, wouldn't know how to do that. Make your way to the. Okay. Time to go. Usually, you empty your RAM with a reset. Oh, I've done that. Mul I, I've done that multiple times. So it. it so very, okay? very clearly, it could be. Um, yeah. I am hopefully, it is just sorry. a. We will Just do our best issue to find out with, what happened with the part or something. Those for me. Miles. Oh man. One so, uh, person. One person got to experience oh. Mysterio's escape room, and then they closed it uh, down because it bugged out. Still has some bugs to work out. That sucks. Hi, Pete. <laughs> Cool shirt. Hi, cool Genki. Shoes and really <laughs> cool shoes. Cool everything, really. Hey, Miles. Genki. Uh, guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Uh, he's back from overseas, and he's starting up a new research foundation. You mean we're starting up a new research foundation? <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Okay, I, job, I know huh? Genki... Sure Genki met Peter sure. earlier because... We'll figure it out. Shall we? Like canonically, Actually, Genki met Peter really up. earlier because okay. Peter was the substitute teacher nice at their school. Yeah, did me too. did they just meet MJ off screen? I mean, I know she's a you, reporter for the Daily Bugle. Yeah. At this point in the game. Actually, uh, so I'll catch up with you later. Mm -hmm. We should really check it on that. Yeah, it just feels weird. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, they seem nice. <laughs> Not too bad they're gonna miss out on the best night of our lives, huh? <laughs> oh boy, it's time for the obligatory Coney Island part. Welcome, oh, our right. child. Do this. Step right up. You have no idea who you're up against. Good luck. You'll meet it. I, I am sad because uh, I remember they. The I remember they advertised. Talk. Oh, you can ride the rides in, in Coney Island and do all the stuff, and it you can only do it in this section of the game. You can never, uh, you can never come back to Coney Island. I don't think you can go to Coney Island early on and do any of these things. You can only do it in this section of the game, and it just kind of sucks. And the only reason I'm upset about that is because the quote-unquote prize that you win, um, Pete will actually wear it for a short time. Hold up. You guys want your prize? Uh, We're good. For. Thanks. Good for a short time, like he he even wears it with his with whatever suit you're wearing at the time, which is cool. But I want at I least a toggle. Um, how can you think about food right now? You know me, I have many talents. Sure. Like swinging across New York. I've said too much. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Harry. I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, like, I, I, me and a lot of people have said we, we want to toggle for, um, for the Goofy Prize, because it's like one of those ridiculous, um, glow-in-the-dark hat and glow-in-the-dark glasses thing. Um, never knew you were so into basketball, Harry. Like, g g give us a toggle so that we can, so that we can have that on with any suit. At, at the very least, like, after after you finish the Coney Island part, just, you, like, you're fighting Venom and all of a sudden you're wearing this goofy glow, in the, this goofy, like, fucking light, um, shit, light stick, glow, sorry, glow stick, cowboy hat in the Venom fight at the, towards the end of the game, like, because that would be fucking hilarious. Another stamp for our ticket. But no, you only, it's only for the Knock fucking Coney Island part, and it really saddens me. Knock him down. Third pyramids are the most stable structure. 
Uh, also, I know somebody who blew 20 bucks trying to knock them um, out. Yeah, you, yeah. you can have it set to do this automatically. I <laughs> I don't. But the line, um, the line that you have for a lot of the, gone. for like the basketball Maybe game and the, to the test. Ball okay. and the go get declared soulmates. hit the can game like soul. that is um, give off Casanova vibe. <laughs> that is actually motion controlled <laughs> with the huh? with the um, dual sense controller and it's just kind of weird. Maybe that you should move in with it, or maybe that everything's too up in the air to think about it yet. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Snackable. Whoa, that can't be right. What is this thing reading, anyway? Our body temperature? <laughs> or our skin's pH? Highly doubt it's that sophisticated. Over here, let's do this one next. I mean, the amount of times that they've actually broken up in the comics. And that one time that they were forced to break up because Wait, the driving? fucking Marvel editors were fucking stupid. Come on, you two lovebirds. Got more park to explore. Ooh. Go on. I got you. Is that Tombstone? What is he doing here? It's like he's a mechanic and saving the day. <laughs> Thanks for pulling me out, man. That could have been really bad. This, this is something that I, like, th this is one of the things I like the most about the plot of Spider-Man 2, is most of the villains actually have, um, are reformed villains, and it's nice. Yeah. I don't know. We still have a little more memory lane to lock down. Oh, we can't go through this way. Clean up, I'll... This style. This style. <laughs> Come on, let's try and sit up front. Um, so just, just got After word from you. Walker. He's not going to be... Um, <laughs> he's not going to be able gentleman. to report tonight. <laughs> so, uh, wor uh, worst comes to worst, no depending worries. on if we actually get nervous. through the parts that I recorded it. tonight. Um, we're not going to have Walker. We I I'm more upset that he's missing the Coney Island part. Because we kind of, um... This is the person Harry gave his prize to. It would be the single writer sitting next to him. I, I'm just upset that he's missing out, missing out on, um, Coney Island Park because we were making jokes about, about it before, there. uh, before we finally recorded MJ it. To keep her hands inside the vehicle at all times. Pete, you should... Bro. The hell are Bro, you doing Bro, you can't with roller hand? coaster. <laughs> I also, uh, okay, so I think Bro, the... you shot when you get to the end of the hill. <laughs> So, I didn't, I think the the reason Pete just keeps putting his hands up randomly is because I didn't realize that it, that, and it says right there on the bottom, you can see it, it says tilt controller up to raise hands, and I would just keep raising my controller, and it, the sensor, I guess the sensor inside the controller was just being wonky. So, like, like yeah, he, he just randomly, like, kind of flaps his hands a little. Uh, also, I think this is the only, the only one of the roller coasters where I show the entire ride. Man, this coaster does not obey physics. Also... Also, I'm pretty sure, no matter how strong he is, Pete would have hit his hands on at least something by this point. <laughs> I just imagine the one time we actually, all of us, all of us meet <laughs> in, in person, we actually go to Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> Make a real life Coney Island park. <laughs> real right? life Coney Island episode. <laughs> it's poetry. It rhymes. But the, no. But the joke is, we're all dressed up as different Spider-Man characters. All right, fearless leader. What's next? 
Our last if I win showcase of the night. The muscle up. To be a oh, you know it, baby. Never did hit that bell. But the dream. Yes, the muscle up. Glares at checklist, sees there's four things left to do. <laughs> Haley. Oh, hey, <laughs> Harry, what the fuck are you doing? Expert comfortable. Familiar. Yet. Modern. Heard. Oh, somebody remembered a thing or two from AP Art. I I love the arcade <laughs> minigame. Nothing. Not a word on my article yet. Still can't believe he's your boss. Let's just find something to hit. Finally, let's hammer some. So whack a mole. It's. Yeah, let's do it. All right, little. Let's hit the hydra. So come out wherever you want. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> You look like Saitama during during the training montage. You know, I still I, I still need to watch more One Punch Man. I think I only watched the first handful of episodes. Take that, you stupid Hydra! There's a couple of anime because there's that, and I need and I know I need to get to get into um, Chainsaw Man. I haven't started Chainsaw Man either, so I don't feel bad. Uh, B Stars. B Star oh, Season Three is, uh, finally got an announcement. Oh, that makes me happy. Hooray! Yeah, and they're splitting. They're splitting the season into two. I'm not upset that they're splitting it in half, especially because of how much they still have left to adapt from the mangas. So it kind. So it's kind of a. Yeah, I get it. They're. I get them splitting it in half, but at the same time, it's like we we had an entire year off from B Stars. And they're still nice. playing it in half, and it's like, did... <laughs> take it easy, Harry. Don't how, how much yourself. work did you guys have to do for, boys, for that? Boys. You're both pretty. <laughs> I'm still looking forward to it because there's a lot of really good. Um... Damn, Harry. Sorry. <sighs> That's coming out of my paycheck, you jerk. Eh, don't worry, I'm rich. I can pay for it. Okay. Guess this really All right, let's the see. What, <laughs> what else is there left to do before we do... Uh, because I think yeah. Big Wheel yeah. is... No idea Big Wheel will just trigger okay. How about story. Okay, something more chill? Looks like the Ferris wheel line has died down, son. I don't want to go on the Ferris wheel. Yet. Hey, Pete. This is the best <laughs> night of my life. Hey, Harry. <laughs> Me Bro, too. it's a Ferris wheel. Calm down. No, it's not a Ferris wheel. It's one of those. Um... I don't think I get any more of those. There will be plenty, buddy. Yeah. It's closer I'm to the Dumbo great. ride, actually. <laughs> Only one more, and that prize is ours. I thought so. If you want a little romance, there's our Ferris wheel. That sounds so romantic. Which I I love that uh um, <laughs> yeah we'll ride the Ferris wheel later. Ah, oh, the spectacular's closed. Boo. Oh. Oh, Perry. Um. On your left. In Six Flags Over Texas, they have their own version of the Dumbo flight ride, which is um Batman themed, and it's just the Batwing. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I like it. It's a fun ride. Oops. Especially yep. because I'm too much of a chicken shit to ride the actual Batman ride. You. You no good. How's it feel? Weirdly high. Dude, I'm terrified of heights. You mean being this handsome with this charm? Yeah, there's just a ton of rides that I just will not ride. I think we could both use more nights like this. Oh, I didn't know that. We always say we will, but. Yeah. Let's pinky promise this time. Just not right now. Too hot. All right. <laughs> pinky promise. I just love the amount of times I just have Pete just raise his fucking head. Like, the, the most <laughs> simple rise. He just... Woo! <laughs> That's everything. Hey, there's a prize with our name on it. Yes, I just have to figure out where the prize booth is. Wander around aimlessly. Perfect time for the Ferris wheel. It's beautiful out tonight. 
So what um what is your favorite theme park ride? Right He's really up their merch game, huh? Uh that's that's a tough one. Um Looking good, Pete. I gotta need a minute to think about this one. You know just never taking this off, right? <laughs> You're gonna wear that to the office. Founder approved. I fucking love that. Mm. Uh, seriously, I I wish there was a toggle. I wish there was a toggle that let you just wear this at any point in the game. Because it will take. Because especially uh, without spoiling, without spoiling specific details. It would take the tension out of a lot of really emotional scenes, but it would just, it'd be fucking funny. Seriously, I brought it up earlier, like, fucking fighting the Venom fight at the end of the game. Like, that, that'd be great. Just, <laughs> no, it, like, whatever suit Pete's wearing, it just has this on, and it's like, man, that's fucking stupid, and I love it. I'm going to let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm going to go see if I can win a couple more unicorns. <laughs> I think I showed you... Um, I, I showed you a while ago that I did have... Um, I did have... Um, names for all of the... Harry's getting a second chance. Like every, every time I do a, like I too. record a part and edit it down to He's have gonna make a hell of a to be ready to record. I actually do have the names of the parts ready, or at least I try and have the names. Some people posted. Um, Did Jonah put you on the front page? You're gonna be an editor. I should have. And there's some there's some genuinely really fucking funny part names. Hunters and scorpions and explosions. Oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. Jay. Yeah, the new guy story had more Spider-Man in it, so I'm not entirely surprised. Dude has a fucking hate boner for Spider-Man. Kind of story. When is trust? Somehow. Hey, come up with something. You always do. I mean, admittedly, I don't even think that. Um, and hey. I don't even think that Jonah legitimately hates Spider-Man. He just like, too. even if I do forget the champagne, kind of hyper focused. Next time. Aw, they're such a happy couple. Nothing can go wrong. Get out of here, Satan. <laughs> Fuck you, Mephisto. He went this way. Oh, right! <laughs> the plot! I was so wrapped up in having fun at Coney Island that I forgot that there was plot! Eyes on Tombstone! Whoa, you gotta wait in line like everybody else. Uh, actually, we're here for you. We're here for you. We need you to fix... something. Holy shit, that guy was Spider-Man. Huh? Yeah, nobody <laughs> fucking noticed this! Tombstone? Don't let the spider get in our way! Take him out! Also, yeah, Please, seriously. Keep <laughs> wearing the fucking... The fucking, um... Hat and glasses. <laughs> on his suit. Like, nobody notices. I think I remember eons ago seeing a um, seeing a joke post on like something. I, I don't remember it. It was either Reddit or like Twitter or like a YouTube video or something. But the, the joke yet. that oh, no. actually everyone in New York knows that Peter is Spider-Man, and they're just hey, it's Harry. they don't say anything to him because MJ. they because it, like. He, I've got my hands full with these hunters, and I don't see him anywhere. makes it almost There's extremely no fucking down. obvious. Make sure he's safe. And you stay safe, too. Yeah. You know I don't go anywhere without my Simcoanian like, sidekick. The... Is that what you call your sable stingray? 
the only people who Spider-Man legitimately don't favorite. know that he's Spider-Man are people who are just completely and utterly oblivious or that don't care. But I, I love I, I love the the joke that no New York knows he knows that Peter Spider Man because dude doesn't really hide it as well as he thinks he does. He's tough. So are these guys. Hunter, start your engines to make the best fighter win. He's up above. Spider Man or Tombstone. Just keep hitting them, Pete. You'll get done eventually. Bong, bong. Boom. MJ, yeah, I'm curious. If there was ever a... If there was a Spider-Man villain that you would like to see in the movies... Bonus points if they haven't actually been in any of the movies yet. Uh, but if there is a Spider-Man villain that you'd like to see in the movies, who would uh, who would it be? Uh. Man, uh, I, I would like to see Kraven personally. Oh, you're about to get your wish at the end of the year. I think it's the end of the year. I mean, in an actual Spider-Man movie, not whatever the fuck Sony's doing. I'm trying to think who at this point. I mean, I know. Um, apparently, No Way Home before, uh, before they had the whole multiverse thing, um. Before they had the multiverse idea, No Way Home was originally going to be a light adaptation of Craven's Last Hunt. Which I, I, I want them to do an adaptation of Craven's Last Hunt for, for the movies. I mean, if, if, we never get, if we never get an adaptation of that, at the very least, uh, Spider-Man 2 does a fairly a fairly good job at Craven's last at adapting Craven's last hunt. Uh, the problem is they adapt Craven's last hunt like in the middle of the black suit saga or the black suit storyline, so I got these guys Which, you just worry about breaking through that net. Who will be fair, I think that is um You and me both, Lonnie. But these guys, his boss wants you dead. He's a hunter. Yeah, no, He's making I, super villains his up. prey. I don't think you will fall for my parole officer about how I turned my life around. Does he's already killed Scorpion? Probably not. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, that's right. Creighton did kill Scorpion. You know, that's like, that. that's a major storyline that i kind of surprised that I forgot that that happened. Eh, Scorpion. Out of all the Spider-Man villains, he's probably the most disposable. Yeah, he is kind of a... Well, I'd say uh, he's either high D tier or low C tier Spidey villain for me. Hmm. Like, he's not a terrible villain, but he like he, he's just kind of a... Yeah, he's there, sort of, Spider-Man villain. Um... Over to Ruh row. And then gonna be okay. Oh, it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine once I remember the actual fucking prompts. I actually like this um, quick time section. I I think when I first played the game, I had quick time set to auto complete, so all of this just was done by its own. But it's um, this is still a really cool section. Hang 
Okay, that's not helping me at all. Repeat, maximum effort! Maximum effort! Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, my neck! I'm just... Can I get a definitive timeline of what stories happened during the fucking black suit arc? It just oh add the add that one scene from Shrek 2. Donkey. <laughs> Was that? Yeah. Yep, I cannot find any, um, any confirmation whether the Black Suit arc and Craven's Last Hunt were around the same time. Although, hang on. Uh, You're a super, Harry. Spider-Man. I know, I know. Way to go, Harry! Now your life's gonna be shit because you can't work on, uh, work-life balance anymore. Say. Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could... Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world! <laughs> Sorry. I, uh... Guess I still gotta figure out how this... Thing works. Ignore me. <laughs> well, it's a real shame neither of us has a state of the art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there. Give me a call when you're ready. Okay, so there's there's a couple versions of Craven's Last Hunt, but uh from what from what I w from what I was able to see, uh, he like Pete has the black suit in Craven's Last Hunt, but it's not during the actual black suit arc or something. I I don't know. I'm gonna look more into it later, but th that's the end of the part. We'll see you guys next part.